What's good, everybody? Welcome back to A1 Hoop Zone. Back at y'all another one, man. But before we jump into this, make sure you hit that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. Um, if you want anything, all these predictions, man, hit me with a comment. Let me know if you want some off of it or if it's helpful or not. Um, and we're going to continue to put separation and win loss column on our prediction record, man. But nonetheless, this is part two, um, actually part eight, but going to be part two for today of the NBA Quick Hits predictions. Uh, so let's dive into this. Make sure you stay tuned uh, for the entirety of the video to get all the predictions. If you missed the other video, definitely go check that out, uh, part seven. Uh, but now let's dive right into this, man. We've got the Kings versus the Cavaliers. Kings sitting at 13 and 10 versus the 16 and 9 Cavs. Um, should be a great matchup. Two good teams uh, playing some great basketball. Again, the Sacramento Kings definitely is a, is a sneaky, uh, a sneaky, I would say a sneak in, man. A lot of teams, a lot of people. I wouldn't say counted them all, but wasn't expecting to see this, uh, what we're getting from the Sacramento Kings team right now, man. And you're getting some good basketball, again, led by De'Aaron Fox. So it's definitely something I'm not surprised by, but I'm I'm, I'm definitely surprised at the uh, the growth and maturity in his game and, and definitely appreciative of watching that. So uh, we'll dive into the, we'll dive right into the um, the uh, prediction side of this, man, or the actual injury portion of it. Kevin Love is out. Uh, Donovan Mitchell is questionable. Um, so I would assume most likely they're probably going to see them, but – uh, that's a game time decision. Make sure you keep an eye out on that, so you can make sure you are, uh, uh, you know, well up to par on that, man. It looks like also De'Aaron Fox is questionable and Terrence Davis is questionable. Um, other than that, I don't really see any huge names uh, outside of that, man. That is out. Um, so where does that le that leads us right into the pick'em for this? Who are we gonna have for this? So De'Aaron Fox, I'm assuming he's gonna play again. Him and Donovan Mitchell are both gonna be probably game time decisions. But who we're gonna rock with? Who we're gonna go? Um, I am going to stick with the Cleveland Cavaliers. I think they have a more talented roster, uh, a more talented team, and uh, they, they definitely played the better competition as well. Um, and, and they're, you know, out there proving that they are one of those teams in the East to take series. Um, you know, they've been able to recover after LeBron leaving. So, um, yeah, it looks like they are fully recovered at this point. Obviously, getting snagging Donovan Mitchell out of the, the market from Utah Jazz. Uh, and also requiring, obviously, Jared Allen and uh, Darius Garland coming into his own as well. Don't forget about um, Karis LeBert. So, yeah, he's still there as well, man. So, again, I got the Cleveland Cavaliers beating the Sacramento Kings on this one. Uh, next up, we got the Pistons sitting at 7-20, visiting the 16-9 Memphis Grizzlies. Um, no slight, no disrespect to the, uh, to the Pistons, but I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the prediction side of this and go right with the Memphis Grizzlies. Now, however, I would not be shocked whatsoever the Pistons did go in and knock off the Memphis Grizzlies because it seems like that's been their MO all season is as the seven wins they've got a few of those they've beaten teams that they weren't expected to beat and it was on the road as well so uh, definitely not a team to sleep on whatsoever so should be a great game to see but I got the Memphis Grizzlies winning that one led by John Morant put on a huge game for them as well um next up after that man we got the Suns versus the Pelicans um let's see we got the the Phoenix Suns sitting there 16 and 9 versus the 16 8 New Orleans Pelicans who do we have on this one Man, this is definitely a playoff preview uh, in, in Western Conference we could be seeing. Um, you got two two teams playing great basketball, dealt, dealt and dealing with the, uh, some injuries as well. On the flip side of that, man, this, they, they met previously, and uh, the Pelicans, you know, managed to edge out the win. Uh, with that being said, along going tagging into this one, man, I'm going to go ahead and rock out with the New Orleans Pelicans as well. Again, uh, I think that the Pels playing at home is, a, is obviously it's a difference maker. With Zion in the lineup is definitely one of those things where you don't really have much of an answer for him. Uh, I feel like he's going to bully Aiden around, and let Aiden can use his size and length. But as far as from a bully perspective, man, Zion's probably going to bully ball him around as well. And they have some bigs, uh, Valent Junis and, and other bigs, to deal with Aiden. So we'll have to wait and see who they match up with, with uh, Zion and then go from there. But uh should be a great game, man. But I'm going with the New Orleans Pelicans to win this one. Um, next up after that, we got the Timberwolves versus the Jazz. Uh, Timberwolves in at 12-12, and 12, Jazz in at 15-12. and 12. Uh, should be a great game as well. Could be a potential playoff preview in the East. We could be seeing. Um, you know, you got two bigs that's going to be going head to head: Lori Marketing and um, and uh, Carl Anthony Towns. I think he was listed as questionable for this one, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what his status is. It's probably going to be a game time decision. But Rudy Gobert is the one to keep an eye out for. Man, he's he's returning back to Utah. Uh, probably a lot of emotion is going to be made there. He made his bones there. Uh, one defensive player of the year, things of that nature, a few times. So. He's going to definitely come out with a lot of energy and look to make a point. So I'm assuming this team is going to look to rise to the occasion and make sure he gets the win just, just from an emotional standpoint of that. Um, who we're going to rock with, though, going into the prediction side of this, man? I am going to go with the Utah Jazz. I feel like the Utah Jazz is going to be up to the task to, to rise to the occasion and match the intensity and energy the Timberwolves will be coming in, and they're going to look to upset Rudy Gobert's or return back home. 
Uh, I think they're going to look to do that, pressing the press pace and, uh, you know, definitely exploiting the, the weaknesses that Rudy Gobert has as well. And you'll get the eye to watch the game to see what those are. But as a big man, even though he's played defense and rebounds, he also has some flaws and weaknesses, you know, being out on the floor as well. You just have to attack it correctly and take advantage of it. But nonetheless, I got the Utah Jazz beating the Minnesota Timberwolves on this one, man. Um, but I would not be surprised whatsoever if the T-Wolves did go in there and, and heads out a win. Um, next up after that, man, we got the Milwaukee Bucks at 18-6 and six versus the 13-11 and 11 Dallas Mavericks. Uh, again, another great matchup. Should be uh, exciting to see. Uh, two prohibited, uh, probably MVP favorites, and Luka Doncic and uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Um, can't wait to see how this matchup and how it goes and plays out. But from an injury standpoint of this, man, it looks like Wesley Matthews is out. Joe Ingles is out still. Um, other than that, no notable huge names for that. It looks like the uh, Dallas Mavericks are going to be uh, have fully healthy, so it should be, again, a very great game in the essence of seeing that. But um, um, Chris Middleton is back as well, so you got, you got again, a Bucs team that's looking to get back to completely healthy. Uh, that, that, that's just me, and again, who are we rocking with, who are we picking for this prediction? I am going to go with the Milwaukee Bucks uh, on this one. I feel like Giannis is up to the task of, of matching Luka in each and every way, um, but the thing is that separates the Bucs. They have a uh, solidified you know, number two score option in, in Chris Middleton, uh, who can actually go out there and get buckets in a hurry, and and he does, you know, he can get up his own shot at will. Uh, the the Mavs, are, however, you know, they have uh, Dinwiddie who can also do the same to some degree, and then Christian Wood as well. But again, this team is strongly led off the back of Luca as far as you know he takes it as far as they're going to go. And uh, in in the in the situation of the Bucks, um, Giannis takes them as far as they're going to go, but at the same time. Um, they're right along with the honest bit by picking up all the things that he doesn't do well as well, which is what mid shooting, mid range shooting, play, uh, deep defensive end, uh, everything that, that that's lacking in any kind of all that, that team is built around them in the structure to where they can fill in that hole and that void at any time. So again, we're going to go with the Milwaukee Bucks in this one, man. But um, that's all I got for you. I appreciate you stopping through. Uh, I will give you a quick recap of my prediction points of this one. So we have those uh, again, we have the Cavaliers leading, Kings. I have the Grizzlies beating the Pistons. I have the Pelicans beating the Suns. The Jazz beating the Timberwolves, and the Bucks beating the Mavericks. Um, so make sure again, if you missed Part Seven, make sure you tune in. Tune in to Part Seven of the prediction video. Uh, so then that way you have that. You'll have that to 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 see. Uh, again, this is Part Eight, but again, Part One of the video was it was dropped earlier. Um, leave a comment. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Who do you have? One of these games and why? If these predictions are helpful or not. And, uh, and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And if you wish to support the channel, that information is flowing at the bottom of the screen. It's also in the description of the video, man. I appreciate you stopping through. Now, catch on another.